This rapid response testing site opened up at 9 o'clock this morning and within an hour cars were already lined up. This testing site is the first of its kind in Connecticut. We're using the Abbott ID now testing. Um, so a positive test would take about five minutes. A negative might take about 13 minutes. So it's fairly quick process. And uh, you know, once you get to the testing site, you're going to leave uh, the site with your results within about 20 to 30 minutes. COVID-19 test results in a matter of minutes not days. CVS Health, in partnership with the state and federal government, has set up this rapid response testing site in New Haven at the former Gateway Community College. It's the first in Connecticut and only the fourth in the nation. And it's out of this massive testing site that they'll be able to test about 750 people a day, seven days a week, at no cost to those being tested. They're looking to get tests to the people who need them most. I believe this. That's why this point of care testing is really, you know, a big part of the containment strategy. It's really important to get, you know, the right amount of testing with the right people and get results in real time so people can take the necessary steps either to quarantine themselves or continue to do more of what they're doing, you know, maintaining social distancing. Unlike other testing sites, you don't need a doctor's note, but you do need to register online prior to being tested. They're prioritizing those who are on the front lines and those who are most at risk for COVID-19. The Connecticut State Police, along with the National Guard, set up this testing site and they'll remain on the grounds to help keep this operation running smoothly. We'll be here every day with New Haven Police Department. Also, the highway's right here, I-95, so we'll be up on the highway making sure it doesn't back up onto the highway. This is a very good location in an inner city environment to get this testing done, and it's a nice central location for the state and get a lot of the testing done, and hopefully we all make this through okay. And you do need to register prior to coming here to get tested. We put all of that information on our website, fox61.com. From New Haven, Ashley Afonso, Fox 61 News.